Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. I wanted to show you Sophie's shoes, her oh, bare so feet. Once there's snow on the ground and I can't wear these anymore, then oh. I will change. Aw, you're adorable. I know. I'm thinking about, I mean, <laughs> I'm not any different. Well, you wear socks. I wear socks. I mean, I'm the colder it gets, the warmer my socks are. I finished my ear bonnet yesterday, guys. Last night, just in time for bed. Why are you screeching? She's like, wait for me! <laughs> Ellie, stop biting people's ankles. Ellie. Anyways, like I showed you guys yesterday, Sophie's been on a crocheting spree. She finished her ear bonnet. And I want to be clear. And then I started a halter for Willow today. I finished it today. <laughs> and then I started one for Honey. Yeah, and so I want to be clear. No, oh, Penny's about to pee. It's not that what Sophie's making right now is like phenomenal. Storm's like, yes, yes, give it to me. It's that she's making up all these patterns in her head. She's just thinking about what she wants to make and she's making it. And what's really crazy about it is I spent 10 minutes teaching her a couple of stitches. I didn't teach her anything else. Like, and she's just doing it. Oops, she's just doing it all herself. So today is actually the coldest day of the year so far. First. It's minus, it's below zero. It's below, it's below freezing today. So this is what she made this morning. So I didn't teach her any of that. I didn't, I didn't teach her that. She's good. literally doing it herself. It's She's like, stop cute. interrupting my breakfast. Willow's really clean in her stall. It's pretty cute. It's crooked, it's twisted. Look how cute that is. That's her color. It's perfect. Isn't it perfect? So I want her to make those for the goats. Like all the time I've crocheted, I never even thought about making something like that. Okay. It's adorable. Doug so people walk their goats with like face muzzles. I don't it's know what to call it them. It looks weird, but it fits so good. How did you get it attached? I used did the you? tails of the wool. And I thought it was, this part was gonna to be too big, so I like did that. This side's just normal. So that's how I started. I mean, I followed you directions. You didn't even tell me how to do that. No, I didn't tell her anything. She's just, and I'm just letting her figure it out right now. And then when she's ready, I will teach her how to do some like actual stuff. No, <laughs> poor little, poor little guinea ponies. Guinea pig ponies. Stop. Wait, no. <laughs> Sophie needs to try her. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is the hat she made. You need to put a halter on her first. Honey doesn't doesn't appreciate the whole. Here. Did she get to eat all her breakfast? Yes. Wait. Okay, this doesn't fit that well. I told her it looked like something different. <laughs> but it's really good that she can. Okay. See Maybe it in? It's really, let's show them. No, you're not showing them. <laughs> it's really good that she can actually make up a design in her head and just make it after like three minutes of instruction on how to do it. I showed her three stitches for two seconds each and she decided which stitch she likes the best and that's the one she's been working with. But she can even switch back and forth between them. Poor ponies. Okay. Let's see. So, <laughs> Gracie. Weird. So, <laughs> Shut it, Mom. I only see one thing. Stop. Uh oh. <laughs> but anyway, it's amazing that she like got that. This isn't my best creation. <laughs> but the the road to success is always paved by a lot of not good creations. I'm being attacked here. Okay. By dogs <laughs> and by horses. Okay, I, I gotta go. Measure one more thing. Yeah, so she measures. She comes outside and she measures I using. I didn't measure this at all. No, but she uses her hands and she says like, oh. Willow's yeah. ears are four fingers apart. Honey. Honeys. You so now you need to make a lead rope to go with that. Okay, and you need the exact same thing. Let's see. It looks so cute. She gets blue because blue would look dull on Willow. That is so cute though. And it would be so soft. Obviously her second project that she did in 10 minutes this morning is so much nicer than her first project. 15 minutes. 
Anyway, I have some rings. I have some O rings that you, you can want me use. I'm gonna make you a halter and send it to you. I will. <laughs> Comment below if you want a selfie halter. It's pretty damn cute. It's pretty darn cute. First one's to the hay bale today. Why is every dog coming with me? I'll tell you why. It's because the goat barn is the happening barn. And it took me a few minutes to get down the hill and they were all waiting for me. All of a sudden they all peeked their heads to see if I was coming. So uh, someone was talking in the comments today about how goats, baby goats have their natural um, weaning process, which I totally agree with. The problem is, is that with Ellie, the problem is, is that, come on, get out there. With, with Lola, it's not about, hey, get out of there, get out. She wants to eat their grain. With Lola, it's not because she wants to naturally wean. It's because she just wants one nipple and that's it. And she wants, she's really just, she wants her grain and then she wants us to sit and wait. She wants her milk still, but the conditions have to be right for her, if that makes sense. So I want her to have her milk because I know that she wants it. It's just getting the conditions right for her to have it. the bed that we use for the baby just because I worry about her because she's tiny and she doesn't have anybody to cuddle up with. She's no mama. So we use this cat bed inside her, inside this box and we put hay in there and she actually lays, she actually lays on this bed that's nice and heated and munches hay all night long. That's how she maintains her gorgeous figure. <laughs> here, here. I know, so she's concerned about the grain. She wants the grain more than she wants the milk, which makes sense. I get it, but here. Here, go ahead, eat it all up. I'll make sure he doesn't get you. But she needs the bottle, or hey, you. She wants the bottle. She just wants it when she wants it. She wants it when she's done. All right, are we ready? So anyway, she poops on this every single day, but she rarely ever pees on it. Just like twice now she's peed on it. So when we come down in the morning, I turn it off and I'm gonna have to give it a big scrub again and wash it down. So she can use it. I love that she has it. It just gives us peace of mind. Look, here, look. Here, 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 here. She just said no, here. She takes the bottle a lot better from Sophie as well. But see how she just wants the grain right now? So I always try and put like her grain outside. See, she just waked her tail and said thank you. I try and hide it from the other goat so she can just eat it and be happy and not get stressed out. And I'm trying to train her to come back to this spot all the time because I also throw hay here as you can see so that if the other goats won't let her eat, because I watch on the camera and I see that she gets pushed out a lot. So I try and put it here so that she at least knows where she can go to get it. Hi, look how chunky, look how chunky our goats are getting.
See, it works beautifully because everything is all quiet and calm out here. Nobody, nobody even knows she's there. It's perfect. Trouble, trouble in paradise. <laughs> Spoke too soon. She doesn't want to stay outside with them because she knows that they are gonna like head better and push her off the food. Get down! Oh, Ellie, what the heck? And now, just from that, I got two goats in here now. And they're going straight for the food. You know what I need? <laughs> you are the cutest though. I need a baby gate across there. That would save light, that would save me. Ellie, stop. Almost. Do you want to? And the horse and the barns can get a halter. Yeah, I love and it. And then I'm gonna run out of water. I really want to do them for the goats because they would work so much better for the goats than something around their neck. They people. That's why we have harnesses. Yeah, but we never use them. I think your things would be better. Um, you got to try and give her her bottle. She wouldn't take it from me. I told you, she just doesn't like it from me. That's the problem. She only wants to drink from her mom. And with the nipple, she likes it's snowing. I know. It was gonna snow and now they say, nope, it's not gonna snow. And now you have dirt snowing. all over your head and hay. Yeah, well. <laughs> That's farm life, sister, <laughs> right? No, I don't think they could pick it up. It looks like glitter floating around. It's like shiny little flecks. It's so small pretty. Small is compared to Blossom. I know. And Blossom's the smallest one. I, I know. know. Sm Before. Blossom is a small goat. Rocky's the only one that's kind of nice to her. See? You're okay. Though. I threw her hay over there. She knows where to go. Hi, Rocco. Okay, Miss Rocky. Okay. I call him rock. Be too. nice. You're about to be a mama again. Dude, I got taste. All right, let's go. It is freezing cold outside today, you guys. It's freezing cold, so we've been staying inside. Sophie's been, after she's finished school, she's been crocheting. 
approaching up a storm. One thing I do in my chicken water, I'm just filling up the chicken water, is I put garlic in it. I put garlic in it every other time I fill it in the winter because garlic is like an antibiotic for chickens and I love knowing that they're like, keep them healthy throughout the winter. But I got interesting news today and I'm excited to share it with you guys. So you guys know Sophie had a CT scan last week and the doctor's office finally called today and it turns out that there was a problem in Sophie's head. We, Sam's helping Gabby with her homework. Sophie's still working on her Sweet new one. fly mask. She made a new ear fly bonnet. ear bonnet today. I'm going to show you guys. <laughs> I hate sewing, guys. So she made ear pieces out of material and she's sewing that on right now. Daisy Dog is having a rest. Delicious. Molly Dog is having a rest. Anya is having a rest. Only my two puppies are going crazy. <clears throat> so it turns out that something got damaged in Sophie's nose when she had her fall, which I did. She likes to chew my necklace. Isn't that the funniest thing? She has this habit of chewing my necklace. Anyways, so there's something in her nose that he thinks is causing the problem. And so we're going to go next week and see what the issue is and how he can what fix it. But it's not exciting. It's exciting to know that after a year, there is actually something wrong and it obviously is something that can get fixed. Stop eating my necklace. I'm super excited about that. I feel like she broke her nose in that fall. I'll put a picture in here if I can find one. I'll try and send it to my camera. I'll try and send it to the computer right now off my phone and show you guys what her nose looked like. But right away, like she, she landed like here, but it also hurt her nose. And she had got an instant lump up here on her nose. And then she has still has a lump on her nose. So whatever happened, some kind of injury has changed things in there. And so we're going to find out next week what they can do to fix Sophie bumps. I'm excited for her to finally have a time in her life where she doesn't have headaches all the time. But like the worst case scenario was going to be if nothing was wrong, if they didn't see anything wrong. And then she just has to live with headaches because he thinks... <laughs> It, he thought it was just post concussion syndrome so the fact that there is actually something wrong is so good to know especially if they can fix it lola's crying for us and she's going because she's frozen Keep like you can out. tell you know it's cold when stormy boy's in the shelter Let's go through this way. it is so cold today So you guys saw the one that Sophie made yesterday. Hey, that one sucks. <laughs> the thing I ever made. Yeah, and she's not learning about patterns or anything right now. She's just figuring it out. I made my own pattern with this one. Yeah, let's and show it them. didn't turn out like the last one. So every time she makes one, she has things she can change, but she's doing this all herself. A matching halter. Whoo! It's cold, Stormy boy. Too early to come in yet. Should I make some your size? He, he likes pink? It. He likes pink. He's a, he's a drama queen. Oh, look. Even uh -oh. Gracie's cold. I gotta fix that blanket. I know we have another... Oh, no. Her blanket got ripped. What the heck happened in here, Storm? Okay. I'm gonna try it on her. Okay. Here comes Storm. Artie? Storm's like, I want to see. <laughs> and the baby goat. Artie goes on a lot smoother. It already goes on smoother. We, I got to take all of our blankets down and find the Gracie's purple one. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, so. <laughs> oh my God. Now remember, she's only been doing this for two days now. So we already talked about how, what would she change for the next time? Yeah. She'd make this all the Look way across accent. here. But yeah, super cute. I love you, Wills. <laughs> Oh, well, she's chunky, chunky. <laughs> she's clearly eating. Look, she knows her girl. Oh, oh, hi. I was like, what are you talking about? Where is Storm? Is you know it's cold when Storm won't come out. But that is why we leave the doors open in the barn. Oh, the girls, Gabby's there too. Is because we want them to be able to get out of the cold. Come on, let's go. Don't you chase my dog. Look, don't you chase my dog. Look at how chunky these goats are getting. Okay, well, this like, her. you put it on her? This is the halter I made, honey. <laughs> she makes me feel embarrassed. All the stuff she's been getting done. 
I feel like the bed is a slightly bigger one. I need to find Gracie's. Oh no, it broke. Oh no. Uh -oh. That's all right, oh, we can fix back. that. Can you hold her halter? Sewing is not her. Expertise. Okay, it fits honey better. Honey's like, don't touch Here, Michael. Oh, it's cute. This one fits honey better. Gabby, we need to find uh, Gracie's better jacket. Look how cute it is. I don't know what happened out here today, but some people were fighting. And the ground is rock solid, but it's supposed to be warmer the next few days. Don't you know that you're beautiful?